Okay everybody, this time I'm going to draw a dragon, uh, just from the side view, so uh, we'll just give it a go, okay? Right, so let's start off with a nice big oval again, and then um, a round bit for the head, okay? Then we'll connect that with uh, a sort of swoopy neck, and let's do a squiggly tail like that, okay? That's pretty cool. And we'll have a pointy bit on the tail as well. Okay, now let's put some legs on this dragon. So we'll do two round bits for the front one, and we'll do three round bits for the back. Well actually we'll do we'll do that for like a claw, actually. And we'll do a claw at the front. Okay, so what we'll do is put those as the middle ones for the claws, like that. Uh, give him another leg, so you can sort of like trace through the body if you want, like that. Because when you do more detail, you can get rid of those lines later on. Same with the back. Um, we'll do it like, so he's sort of almost walking, like that. Now the next thing to do is uh, let's put a snout on him. So about halfway through the circle you can put like a box section on like that. And uh, if you want him uh, with his mouth open we can we can put like a triangly part on there. And now we can put a brow on him because he's an angry dragon. And we'll connect that up like that. And Put in an eye, okay, and then some nostrils, flaming nostrils, nice sort of like that, and we'll make the rest of the mouth like that. There you go. It's looking a bit more like a dragon now. Right. What do dragons always have? They have wings. So let's put some wings on him. So do a nice swirly thing from just above the end of the shoulder there and then uh, we'll put some dragon wings on one two three four look at that there you go put that on these are spars for the dragon wings uh, you can put little claws on the end if you want and let's do another another claw there and this is the wing on the other side of the body so you're only seeing half of it there okay and this dragon's going to have, uh, let's say, three horns on his head. So let's put a horn on his head. There you go. And we'll put two smaller horns there for an ear. And there you go. And now we've got some spines running down his backbone. And that can continue down the tail. And now I'm going to just tone him up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tone him up like the light is coming from uh, you know, like top right. Okay, so therefore the shadows would be under his belly like this. Okay. Okie dokie. And then um, this leg will probably be in shadow as well from from his body. So that would actually go like that. Um, and this rear leg maybe like that as well. So, and the head would give a bit more shadow. This would be in shadow slightly. And probably this wing would have a bit of shading on it like so. Okay. Right, and now what I'm going to do is just put some detail in him. So uh, what we'll do is just put some detail, like um, scales and such like, and we'll put some claws on him as well. So we'll put some nice dragony claws on his feet there. Yeah. Here we go. And we 
do some scales like this under his belly. And give a bit more glint to his eyes up there. And put a nostril in there. And here we go, this is the wings. And we can put some scales on him. Okay. Anything can go with a dragon because they're mythical creatures. So if you want to give them more claws or more horns, or anything like that, you can do whatever you fancy doing. So, uh, which is a nice bit of freedom when you're drawing. Okay. And here we go. Well, I'm just going to darken up this so it looks like it's in, in front of the wing in the background. I'll just put a shading on that. And we'll put some more teeth in and this that is a very very quick dragon there you go okay put some more scales in him You've got more time, you could do this a bit quicker. I mean, a bit better. And put a bit more shading to give them a bit more of a 3D effect. And there you go. 